Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Dow Academy Online Learning. We look forward to seeing you all back in class. But for now, stay home, stay safe. And remember to always wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. Let's begin. Good morning, class. We are with the Form 3 Physics and Combined Science Physics section. We are looking at forces, right? So what is a force? A force is a push or a pull. When you are pushing, pulling, lifting, bending, twisting, tearing, stretching, or squeezing, you are applying a force. If I squeeze this, I'm applying a force. Or when I pull it out, I'm applying a force. So all those actions are describing a force. Examples of forces, they are listed there. There are many examples. Weight, up thrust, especially when you are floating in a liquid, when you are swimming, air resistance or drag in air, friction, magnetic force, electric force, gravity, which is coupled together with weight, all those are forces. Our main focus under this topic are going to be effects of forces, which include change of size, effects on motion, effects of force on change of shape, the turning effect of a force. So we are going to be looking at at least these four subtopics as we move on. Right, we are starting with effect of force on a motion. A force can increase the speed of an object or a body, that is, it can cause it to accelerate. It can also reduce the speed and finally makes the object to stop moving. A force can change the direction of a moving object. When we are going to be presenting our body and our force, we are going to use this diagram. This is our object we should be dealing with. You are presenting with a rectangle and the force you are presenting with a line with an arrow showing the direction, like here we've got tension or forward force or driving force. Let's say we've got a car, and we know a car moves, it has a driving force, right? Like this car here, it has a driving force, which makes it to move 600 newtons. But at the same time, there is air resistance, which is a frictional force, which is acting against it or in opposite direction. But this object should move. In this case, it's going to move towards where we've got what you call a resultant force. We are saying resultant force equals the forward force minus the backward force. In this case, if I'm applying 600 newtons, subtract the 400 newtons for the frictional force or air resistance, I'll get 200 newtons to the right. So it is a resultant force of 200 newtons to the right. So what is the resultant force? Resultant force is a single force that acts, uh, that acts and has the same effect as two or more forces on an object. Like what we had on the diagram before, we had two forces which were acting, the forward force and the backward force. Subtract them, we get one single force of 200 newtons. That is the resultant force. The resultant force makes the object to accelerate. The resultant force makes the object to accelerate. So, we are going to move on to do exercises which are on shown here. Question 3.2, all of them. You have to identify, you have to calculate the resultant force and you have to give us if it is a balanced force or unbalanced force and the direction of how it is going to move. We are going to do these questions here. Thank you. Stay well, stay safe. 